So the most important time in, for weed management and the development of a crop is early in its uh, development. In the research that we've done at the University of Guelph Ridgetown campus, as long as you keep that crop weed free during the critical period of weed control, there should be minimal losses due to weed interference. In the research that we've done in corn, as long as corn is kept weed free from the time it emerges up to the six leaf stage of corn or up to the V4, V5 stage of corn, there will be no yield losses due to weed interference. So in our experience, the most important time for a farmer to keep his crop weed free is from the time of emergence through that critical period of weed control. So yield losses in corn due to weed interference it can be quite uh, dramatic. In studies that I did with uh, Dr. Al Hamill a number of years ago, we did uh, 20 field studies and on average, after the corn reaches that critical period of weed control, you are losing a half a bushel of corn per acre per day. So if corn sells for $4 a bushel, that means for every day that you delayed the application of your herbicide, you were losing uh, $2 per acre per day. However, in the most competitive environments, such as we have here where I'm standing, you can lose up to three bushels of corn per acre per day. So if corn sells for $4 a bushel, just by delaying the application from Monday to Tuesday morning, you've lost $12 per acre. If you farm a thousand acres, you've lost $12,000 just by delaying the application by uh, one day in a competitive environment.